In the last election, 23% of Cali Hispanics voted Trump, while 41% did so in Texas. Why did so many Texas Hispanics vote for anti-immigration immigrant Republicans? Do they just not care about the racism against them? Um, I have long, this has been a long time phenomenon uh, of the fact that in Texas, um, Hispanics have voted uh, Republican in much greater numbers than uh, in California. And this has, uh, you know, uh, I think pretty uh, deep and obvious roots. Um, in California, the Republican Party has been explicitly antagonistic to the Hispanic community. It has been viciously anti-immigrant. It has been viciously anti-Hispanics. California, which has, as a percentage, just as many, if not more, Hispanics than California has. Uh, sorry, Texas. Texas, Republicans in Texas just don't behave in such a horrible way towards Hispanics. They have not made, at least historically, have not made immigration as big of an issue as California has. They have not made going after Hispanics a, a, a big deal. If you remember George W. When he, was, when he was governor of Texas, got a significant number of Texans voting for him, uh, Hispanics in Texas voting for him. He was very friendly towards the Hispanic community and indeed, as president, proposed significant immigration reform which would allow more, op more legal immig immigrants to come across the border. Um, a bill that was stopped by the Democrats who are traditionally the anti-immigration party. So uh, Hispanics are very much responding to the attitude of the Republican Party in the particular states to them. They are uh, treated really, really badly in California, and they're treated much better in Texas by the Republicans. Still not well, but better. Uh, Hispanics, both in California and in Texas, are conservatives. Certainly when it comes to things like family and uh, when it thinks to, comes to social issues, but also when it comes to economics, Hispanics are not socialists. They're not typically, you know, big government Democrat type socialists. You don't see a lot of Hispanics going for Bernie Sanders. They voted for Biden, but they're not Bernie Sanders fans. So uh, that, that would be my explanation uh, for what happened. Um, I also wonder whether the, um, what do you call it, the uh, turnout rates in California uh, among Hispanics were low because um, the ones who would have voted for Trump, what's the point if you're going to vote for Trump, what's the point of voting in California? It's obvious California is going to go for Biden. So you stay home. So Californian numbers, because it votes so late, by the time it votes, everybody knows who's won, and because it's so obviously democratic, it, the, it's hard to break down the results. It's hard to analyze them. But Hispanics all over the country, maybe with the exception of California, v uh, voted uh, in favor of Trump much more than they did in other places because I think that they... They don't actually like the Democrats, and they know that Democrats deep down are anti-immigration to a large extent just like the Republicans. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.